Hey everybody, it's Crazy Cuban Cow. How you doing? Today, I'm going to be making a Rubik's Cube solving robot. Now this is a Lego Mindstorm robot set. Um, I'm actually going to be using the pieces from this set to make a Rubik's Cube solving robot. I will be using the plans and software from Mindcuber, however after I make the solver I would like to make a scrambler also by Mindcuber. Now I'm going to open up this box which contains the pea brick. Here we just have some pamphlets which show you how to use the pea brick. We don't need those. Alright, so here is the pea brick which is basically the computer that controls the robot. As you can see, these wire holes are labeled A, B, C, and D, and these are basically where the wires go into. And here is the set of wires that goes into the brick. So here is my completed robot. I am just going to scramble up my Rubik's Cube to put into the robot so that it can be solved. So while the Rubik's Cube is being solved, I just wanted to say that this robot took a long time to build because of some mistakes I made. The first thing I made a mistake of is the scanner, which looks at the colors of the cube. Um, I built that arm wrong, so I had to rebuild it, which took a long time and caused the robot to not solve the cube. Another thing I made a mistake of is the cube flipper, which rotates the cube around. Um, I made it eight, uh, symmetrical, but really it was supposed to be asymmetrical. So when I realized that, I, that that was a mistake, I had to rebuild that arm. Also, another thing that contributed to the problem of the cube not being solved is the software that I downloaded onto the P-Brick. Um, the one I downloaded was V1P9 by, by Minecuber, however, I re-downloaded a, a new one, which was V2P0, also by Minecuber, and as you can see, the robot is solving the cube, and so yeah, I fixed a bunch of my mistakes, and now it works. I will be making another video about the actual scrambling of the robot, because that was the whole point all along, uh, but I just wanted to see if it would solve. Thanks to Minecuber, my Rubik's Cube solving robot actually works, and uh, I'm quite proud of it. It's really cool. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Crazy Kim Carol. Bye!